I'm gonna mix them up. You don't know which is which. Okay, which one's your favorite? Okay. Can we tell the difference between Hormel canned corned beef hash and Armour canned corned beef hash? He's ready for it, I'm ready for it, but are you ready for it? Well, we hope the answer is yes, because welcome to the Miko Mouse Show, and welcome to the third and final episode of our canned corned beef hash extravaganza thing. Do the jazz pause. Okay. He's gonna tell you which plate is his favorite, and I'm gonna tell you which plate I think is Hormel canned corned beef hash. The reason I'm telling you which plate I think is Hormel is because I've had both of these already in our previous videos, and the armor is kind of wet and kind of gross. When armor is cold, I don't know why we're not heating any of these up. I'm not the one that's doing the plating though, and so it's not my call. I'm just the intern here doing the stuff that he could do. Before we do the thing, we wanted to say thank you for joining us. It sure does mean a lot to him and a lot to me as well, so thank you. Now let's do the thing. I'm gonna take this half, as always. Do you ever get tired of like listening to the same thing? Like me talking, like saying this and saying that. You ever get tired of that? I get tired of saying it because I have to hear myself talk. But you don't get tired of I guess if there's food involved or you just tone me out. You are, you have really good selective hearing. So I bet that's what you're doing. I just bet you're not listening to me one bit. Is that true? Blink if that's true. Holy cow. You didn't blink. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, wait, that's not true. Oh, that's a good thing then that he didn't blink. See, I am just bad at this. I am bad at everything that we're doing right now. That side came off of that plate. That side belongs on that plate. And let's do visuals. So visually speaking, my goodness. Okay, okay, holy cow. These two canned corned beef hashes are different. One of them is wet and one of them is not wet. I will say though that the one that came off of this plate is just a little bit darker than the one that came off of this plate. That's really the only difference. Like just a tad bit darker. Really, the, you could probably say that they're probably the same color, but I like to think that that one's a little bit darker. With that said, yes. Okay, so you like that one better. I'm probably gonna agree with you because the one that is on this plate is a little slimy looking, which makes me think that this one is armor. Yes, that's what we're we're about to do. So I don't know what else is going with my eyeballs. He wants me to finish this up so he can have my plate. I'm gonna do the tasting. Yes, I okay. Yes, sir, I, I understand. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go very fast, yes sir. I'm gonna taste the one that came off the plate on your left. Hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. This stuff is just not good when it's cold. I mean, it's not bad, it's just, ugh. Slimy and like mechanized meaty. I'm gonna taste the one that came off the plate on your right. That's your right, right? Okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm going to let him clean my plate and I'll tell you what I think. What I think is that there's a big difference. The one that came off of that plate, flavor-wise, they're actually very similar. But the one that came off of that plate, because it's not wet, once again, I'm eating them cold. Look, I don't make the rules. You're just as mad as I am. When it's cold and if it's dry, you get more flavor out of it. When it's wet and cold, it just is not good texture-wise at all. Okay, which one was your favorite? Which one did you want to pick? I'm gonna mix them up. You don't know which is which. Okay, which one's your favorite? Okay, he's saying for me to pick because he sticks to buy what he said earlier, which is that one is his favorite. I also agree with you. I'm gonna say that that one is also my favorite. I'm also gonna say that because, yes sir, you are very handsome. I'm also gonna say that because this one is not wet and out of the three corn canned corn beef hashes that we've done in this video trilogy, only one of them is wet, which is armor. I'm going to assume that means that this, that's very, very impressive. That's very cool. I'm gonna assume that this means that this is armor because this one was wet. And that means that this one is A, which is Hormel because it's not wet. Should we flip it? And we were correct. We both picked the name brand one, which is A. Well, I guess they're both name brands. So we both picked A, which is Hormel. Good job. I will flip this for you so that you can see that it's B. Did you even look at it? Okay, he didn't look at it, but he wanted it flipped. With that said, or with that shown, what did we learn? We learned that, and correct me if I'm wrong, we learned that corned beef, canned corned beef hash is gross. Is this, is this wrong? It's gross when it's cold. Is that wrong? Is that right? Okay. Should we do the outro? Okay, yeah, you wanna do the outro. Before we do the outro, we just wanted to say thank you for joining us. We hope you had a good time. We had an awesome time making it. 
And uh, if it wasn't for you, none of this would be possible. So once again, thank you. Are you ready to do the outro? Oh, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, we'll see you in the next one.